Hey guys, Carl here. So um, today a quick Valorant video. Um, what I wanted to update you basically on is how to play Omen. Um, I want to make a quick series of like strong champs. And I also watch a lot of content creators within the Valorant community. And I recognize that um, Shroud just dropped a video where he basically ranked the competitive possibilities of each champ from a S to C tier. If you want to check that out, you can search for Shroud's channel on, on YouTube. Either way, um, what what he said is that Omen is on like the lower tiers. And I, for once, um, picked when in Valorant so far up is... I mainly play Omen in most of my games so far. And I really experiment a lot with his abilities. And I wanted to give you a quick insight on how I use Omen. Because I actually think if you master him, he can be one of the strongest champs that really screws around with people that are used to games like CSGO. Because there's one ability in his set that gives you a huge competitive advantage over others. So um, before I jump into the game, let's quickly take a look. So... In general, every champ in Valorant has four abilities. Um, they have three normal abilities and an ultimate ability. From the three normals, there are one that they have every round. So if you look at al alone at Omen's ability that he has every round, that refreshes every round that he can do twice, um, it's the dark cover. So what basically you can see on the map where you put your dark cover with your mouse and your keyboard, you can adjust that. And then um, what happens is this dark cover is an orb that is similar to smoke. Uh, if you go into the smoke, you can see enemies that are within that. Um, and basically, it, it is a long smoke. And if you want to keep one spot constantly smoked, it's almost possible to do that. Because you basically have three, uh, two, you can do two of these in a row. And then you can even do a third directly afterwards because it refreshes in the meantime where you have basically the first two shot out there. So really, really strong ability that can um, help you initiate and can help you prevent pushes. Um, the Q is basically a flash. You can buy it for one, one, one flash around. Um, it's basically you fire the Q and then enemies that are within that, it goes like forward and enemies are flashed. So it's pretty, pretty strong. Like people can't really see anymore and it's very easy to take them out when they, when they have that on them. At the same time, it's also cool to aim towards somebody because if you aim through a wall, they can't see it coming or it's really hard to see that coming. You have like an indicator on your screen, but nevertheless, it, it, it is pretty hard to dodge that. So th this is really strong also against pushes. And then you have the shrouded step. And this is where I think this makes him super strong. So what you can do is if an enemy sees you, um, on a specific spot and then you go back basically so you can't see anymore you can teleport somewhere else and screw around with where they think you could be um, I will go into the game and show you some specific situations in which this ability is super useful I think this is what makes this champ so distinctively um, original and very hard to play against if you are a player that knows knows his stuff this last ability is his ultimate ability so um, what he does there is you can basically, after six or seven kills, I'm not sure right now, you can select a spot in the map where you want to port to. So basically, you press your button and then you can teleport anywhere on the map. And uh, there is a circle in which enemies can hear that you are there. So you have to be very careful about where you want to port. At the same time, again, such a unique tool that screws around with people that normally would know how to play, like against a push or a setup, because now they have to... Uh, basically think about the fact that somebody could come up from behind them which makes it so hard to hold angles which is also a super huge tool you just have to be very careful in how you use that teleport so let's jump jump quickly into the map and show you some possible ways to use this so here we are um, I'm, I'm using the bot map for now if you really like this guide I can make an additional guide on how you play omen on specific maps because that is really useful I have like in every map I have specific spots where I use his abilities to like the maximum effect um, but but yeah so um, I, this will be more of a general video if you want to have more detail about omen if you want to understand more how to play him on specific maps I can make a video about that so um, how to use this three abilities, four abilities best. So, I mean, his ultimate ability are already described before. So basically what you want to do is you want to port, for example, if if this would be a normal map and like enemies would sit here, you want to be careful about teleporting. So, so the circle indicates your audio visual range. So you want to 
teleport somewhere behind them on the map. So if you're an attacker, let, let, let me maybe do it like this. If you are an attacker, so you want to plant the bomb, uh, the best way you could use your ability is if you pour it behind the enemies to initiate something. I found a lot of success with that. So basically you use your ability uh, almost at the start of the round and then you pick a side that you want to push together with your team. Maybe somebody even fakes a different side so people are not assuming you are there. And then you use your ability. So there are two options now. Either the enemies are aware of the fact that they can get pushed from behind and are now looking behind them and if your team pushes to the side um, they have an easier job to do that because the enemy team is distracted. Or the enemy team will stay focused on the fact that maybe there is a push now, but then you are the one that has to do the entries. So it opens up a huge space for your team. So just be careful about where you pour it and that it's in a spot where normally people are not ne near to it, so you can't be heard and it is, isn't obvious where you are porting. Uh, for the defensive side, so if you're defending bomb sites, but it's too risky at the start of most rounds to just teleport behind the enemies. It's just a huge risk. You basically let it like, open up a bomb site. So in that case, how you want to use your ability is as soon as it gets clear where the enemies are pushing, you can either then use your ability to port behind the enemies because then you probably know where there are open spots because if the enemy team is pushing, you can port behind them where they are probably not anymore, but that's taking a risk. Or you just use your ability to get faster to the other bomb site to support the people there on defending the bomb site. In both cases, pretty strong ability. Again, the enemies have to assume you could be behind them, so they are probably a bit distracted. So overall, a great ultimate ability. So this this is much to the ultimate ability. Then I mean um, the smoke is so powerful. Normally I would um, on the defensive side I would use it to smoke specific spots off. Um, so for example, if if the, like the attackers come from there, you could just do that, and then you wait a bit. Um, normally you just aim and make sure that they can't come from there anymore. And um, after a while you want to smoke that again. So basically you have you maintain control. So now I would wait. And now I can aim again and my ability would refresh now and I could constantly try to smoke at least this entrance off um, Another thing you can do is in save rounds. So when you're low economy you can buy one of these judges very powerful rifle for omen because what you can do is um, When you set this sometimes people would walk through they would just take the risk and think they can overrun you or something uh, if you're standing like this and people come in you have the advantage because you're already pre-aiming. The people don't know like where you're sitting. They you could possibly sit there or there. So um, and they judge one shots in the head. So you're basically just waiting for them to enter this and then just getting the easy kills. This is good on a on a like safe round, eco round, even if you only have pistols. On an offensive round, there is an interesting way of playing Omen, and you have to understand that also his abilities synergize with each other. So what you can do in these rounds, and let me quickly pour it over there. Cover going out. What you could do is, uh, or maybe let me take this side. What you could do is you set your your orb over here. That's a bit too low, but either way. And then you can go into the orb and pour it there. So this is like not a good example because this is not a real map. But normally if you know pretty much how people are playing and if you know like if you set an orb for example there people start aiming at that. Sometimes in the maps and this is why I said I can make map specific uh, guides for Omen. There are spots where you know that probably nobody's looking at that point in time and nobody's expecting anything. So you can make a high risk play uh, in, on the defensive side. Try to port behind them and get some easy frags. You can do the same on the attack attacker side, by the way. You can smoke your own team off. So um, basically, then you probably know how how enemies will position specific, like depending on the specific spot on the map. And then you can use your port to port behind them and get some easy kills. It is very reliable. There is an audio indicator for uh, the port, but it's not very loud. So the good thing is, if there is a lot of noise ongoing, um, you probably. Uh, you probably have a chance of, of um, ca get catching some of the enemies off guard. The port is a super effective tool. Um, so in combination with, with this, this ability, it's very, very strong. Another thing you could do is you can place a very offensive smoke. Let's say enemies could be over there. They see the orb and they are assuming they could see if somebody ran runs in here. But what you could do is you could just port into the orb and then catch enemies off guard that are not expecting you getting out of this. 
So either you use the orb to pour it out of it, or you use the orb to pour it into it. Both of these plays are kind of nice. I think over time people will probably adapt more and more to Omen and how he is played. But especially at the start now, and I think also keeping in mind going forward, this just adds pressure on the enemy team. Even if you, let's assume you just do this for run round, and from there onwards, the enemies in their head have to think every round is Omen to Omen going to do that again. So they can't just focus on aiming here and aiming basically people off going into the smoke. They also have to focus if somebody comes out here. So you basically, your orbs over the course of the game will get stronger and stronger. Uh, the flash is pretty straightforward. So what you could do is you know somebody is uh, standing there all the time and aiming. So you could basically do this. And you could basically blind them and it would hit them pretty unprepared because there's something in the way so they wouldn't see it coming. They just would get an audio, uh, a visual indicator but still it's it's not super easy to dodge that. Um, so And then you're really blinded so that's a good thing. Um, you could do that to either initiate an attack if you probably know where people are. You could just try to, to flash them and then you could run in with your team. Or what you also could do is do, use that defensively. If people are pushing, this is so powerful because it's it's not like a normal flash. It's pretty a big, big area that that you can hit. So if some like people are pushing towards an, a more tight uh, space, you could use that easily to to flash them off. Um, and then of course the shrouded step. Like you can use it in combination with this, um, but sometimes people expect it. What you can do is use it completely without. So the best way you could use this is like two main ways apart from the smoke. Um, so what you could do is if somebody is uh, basically, hmm, where do I find a good example of this? Right, okay, so uh, this map is not ideal for this, but um, what you could do is you peek somebody over there and they see you and they're like, okay, he's there. Then you can pour it over here and catch them completely off guard when they are pushing you like this. Um, of course, they could could expect that you port, but at the same time, they can't aim for two spots at the same time, right? So the the meta of fact is that they probably will aim for the spot where they saw you first, and um, yeah, it's just pretty hard to predict them where Omen is. So it gives you a peeker's advantage because you can't be pre-aimed that easily. People have to flick to to hit you. Um, the other thing is, in one v one situations. In the end, like if you're playing a bomb site or something, this is so powerful because people are just very focused on 1v1s, very like full of adrenaline and, and just trying to get the kill. And what happens is probably I would be on the other side here and somebody would be here. And he, for example, he hears me stepping over there. So this guy now is here in the middle and he hears me stepping there. So he slowly walks towards this and wants to kill me. So what I would do is I would make some audible steps here. And then I could quickly port over there and catch him off, off guard. Or what is even better is um, if this would be smaller, like this for example. Um, this is like a big wall, so it's it's a difficult situation. But if you're around this, like somebody's going around this and you have these types of situations a lot when the bomb is planted and you're the only one basically defending the site. And you know the other guys on the other side of this thingy. What you could do is do this. And the other guy will go on this this side of, of, of this block here and try to, to pre-aim you. But you, in the meantime, will have poured it behind him and can quickly give him a header to, to get the kill. So these are some, some useful tips on how to use Omen's kit. I think it, it is so good to, to close this quick video off um, because it catches a lot of traditional FPS players off. Um, especially if you know Counter-Strike or something. You're just relying on that you hear a noise and you know where he is and then you're trying to pre-aim him. But if he can teleport, he can get behind you. So as soon as you hear, like, if you hear the audible teleport, what you either have to do is, you have to assume that he could just teleport it right behind you. But what this guy also could do is port on the same spot. So like it, it messes up your ability to pre-aim, which is incredibly powerful in a 1v1 situation and um, also in the other situations I outlined. So Omen for me is the perfect character to get some uh, early frags to basically open up a site um, if you're an on the attacker side. So basically you're your first fragger and, and playmaker. And on the defensive team he is somebody you really want to be the last man standing because he can outplay if there is another guy uh, has a good kit to outplay him. 
So, really Playmaker, a fun character that puts you on the spotlight and also puts some pressure on yourself. But if you can't handle it, I think Omen is, is such a great champ. So, hope you got something out of this. As I said, if you are interested uh, in more Omen content, I can make a map-specific Omen play guide where I also show off some plays I make with them, like normally when I, for example, if I see somebody walking towards me and then I port behind them and make some easy kills, that's always very fun. Um, and yeah, so I hope you learned something from this and we, I hope we can learn Valorant together. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to leave a like, subscribe to my channel and turn on for some more Valorant or Teamfight Tactics content. See you soon. Bye bye.